Orico. Yeah, Orico. Yes, it's an M.2. Now, who are these really for? Well, anyone, of course. Whether you've got a PC, a Mac, or even a game console like the PS5. You can actually use one of these. I've never tried it myself, but apparently you can insert one of these as your gaming drive. That'd be brilliant, because read-write is extremely fast. Now, I'm going to quickly tell you the speed. So, it can do up to 7,000 megabits per second sequential read and up to 6,500 sequential writes. So, extremely fast. <laughs> Obviously, the read is faster than the write because it's got a write to it, whereas if it's reading, it's just got to read it. Could be a bit faster, isn't it? So, in this video, once we've done the unboxing, we are going to be doing a speed test just to see how fast this can actually go. And I'm going to be inserting it into my PC. And if you're new to my channel, before we go any further, consider helping me out by subscribing, clicking on the bell to get notified, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you decide you want to buy Orico, two terabytes, there will be affiliated links in the video description below. Let's get on with the unboxing, shall we? Because we need to know exactly, exactly what we're getting for our money. Oh, even comes with a little screwdriver. Yeah, nice little touch. Some playing cards for playing games. Warning, do not repair or disassemble. I have no intention. I have no intention of repairing or disassembling. But we need to get her out. How do I get her out? Right, it's a double, it's a double wrap in it. So that should come out like that. Yes, and then that is in there somewhere. There it goes. Thermal pads, very good. Heat sink, very good. Now, I won't actually be using the heat sink, but from what I've been reading, the heat sink on this or this is very effective, apparently. But I won't be using it. I might use the thermal pads because they look quite good, actually. I might do, I might not because they are cut to size. Yeah, we will use the thermal pads, right? Just to see if she works. So this is it. Orico 07000 solid state drive. PCIe 4.0. Now, to get the maximum speed out of this or the maximum performance, ideally you want PCIe 4.0 or even higher. Not higher at the moment as far as I know, the highest is 4.0. So, that is it. That is the little baby there. Now, I've seen someone take this off, and all it does is show you all the chips that are underneath. I'm not going to be doing that. But I will give you a bit more information about this and how I'm going to install it into my PC and giving it a test. Before I install it into the PC, there's bound to be someone who's going to say, can you show us how to use or how to install the heatsink. So in this little bit of the video, I am going to show you right now. Now, something to bear in mind, the actual thermal pads have a bit of plastic on each side that you need to remove. Now, in this video, I'm not actually going to remove them. I'm just showing you that they are actually there, the bits of plastic. So you need to remove both sides of the plastic for it to be efficient and for it to actually work. Now the first thing you do is put the actual metal plate down first, the shiny one. Then you put your thermal pad on, or you can actually put it straight on the actual M.2 if you want. Make sure where it has a little cut out for your screw, you don't cover that over because <laughs> you're not going to be able to screw it down properly and you're just going to dig through the actual thermal pad, which you don't want. Then you need to put the other thermal pad on top, yeah, don't forget again, make sure you remove the plastic. I'm not doing that, I'm just showing you how to do it. And then you put the black heat sink part on top and then just snap it together. Job done. Now, should you for what 
whatever reason need to take it back out again it's quite easy you can either try and slide it out which I would not advise because it'd be sticking it'd be hard or the little four little clips on the bottom part you should be able to prise them apart so you can take the top part off if that makes sense so hopefully that has helped you out Right, so this is a little docking station that I made a video on some time ago. I will stick a link up there in case you wish to see how this actually works, but it makes life a lot easier when testing things like this because this connects to a PCIe slot and should give you exactly the same speed as if you connected it straight to the motherboard in theory. So we will be using this. Now I've already removed the other hard drive that was in here. So this goes in, I believe it's around that way. There's a little lip there, like so. Push that down, make sure it's down. Slide that across, that holds that in place like that. And then all I need to do is put that there. It's a little bit fiddly sometimes. See, got to be spot on, getting that in. There you go, done it. And then that goes into the caddy and I've got an instant hard drive ready to go. All I need to do is put this back in and set up the hard drive and we're ready for testing. Have a look at these results and I'll explain to you what i done wrong and how I resolved it. So, I contacted Orico and said, look, these results are not very good. I've had better results. They got back to me, are you using a docker or are you connecting it straight to the motherboard? I went, I'm using a docker, but I've used one before and it worked perfectly fine. And they say it will work better if you plug it straight to the motherboard. And I thought, to give them the benefit of the doubt, I'll try it. And then when I looked, I realised I've got other things plugged into my PCIe slots that will reduce the bandwidth. And I thought, ah, might be that. So put the actual drive straight to the motherboard. I thought that would be the easiest thing to do. And, surprise, surprise, that was correct. The result for this is spot on. They said up to 7,000 and they was right. So very pleased with that and I do apologise for doubting them, thinking, oh, that's not very good and it's not my, my docker. And it was. Or oh, it was the PCI slot not performing to its top performance because I have other things plugged into the other PCIs so it reduced the bandwidth. I apologise. But we got there in the end. So yeah, I can recommend the Oracle, especially the two terabyte. As far as I know, they haven't got a four terabyte. I couldn't see one online at the time of making this video, but it wouldn't surprise me if they bring one out. So with that, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. And if you're not new to my channel, please don't leave. And if you do like th this video or any of my videos, try and give me the thumbs up because it does help the YouTube algorithms to promote this channel and the videos I make on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Orico, link in the video description below.